Sabri Subi, sell like crazy. How to get as many clients, customers, and sales as you can possibly handle. If you're feeling overwhelmed trying to grow your business, it's probably cold comfort to know you're not alone. In fact, many entrepreneurs struggle to convert curious visitors into loyal, high-paying customers. But what if we told you that you can create an automated sales machine that nurtures cold traffic into hot buyers? According to digital marketing expert Sabri Subi, the secret lies in understanding your customer's deepest desires and fears intimately. By installing a tailored sales funnel that provides extreme value, you can shift website visitors up the purchasing pyramid until they happily buy what you're selling. With this proven framework in place, you can build an automated engine generating leads and sales 24-7. By applying the principles in this blink to Sabri Subi's Sell Like Crazy, you too can start selling like a pro. So let's get started. Identifying your dream buyer. How do insurance companies motivate people to buy policies? Well, they tap into their prospects' deepest fears. You see, emotional triggers work better than trying to convince prospects about your great product. Great selling starts by understanding your ideal buyer. But who exactly is that? We can start to answer that question by breaking down the market into four categories. 3% are ready to buy now, 17% are gathering information, 20% are problem aware, and 60% are unaware that they even need your product. While most sellers focus on the ready buyers, the real opportunity lies with the other 97%, especially the 17% and 20% groups who can become buyers with the right nurturing. You can turn cold traffic into loyal buyers by installing a sales funnel that attracts prospects, educates them, nurtures them, and motivates them to buy from you. This shifts people up the purchasing pyramid by addressing their deepest desires and fears. How can you do that? First, identify your top 4% of current customers who probably drive 64% of your revenue. Then, analyze their demographics and behaviors to determine your ideal buyer profile. Use tools like Google Auto Suggest, Answer, ThePublic.com, Facebook Groups, Reddit, and Quora to learn about how your prospects think and feel. Identify their biggest hopes, frustrations, dreams, fears, preferred communication channels, and industry terminology. Finally, map the customer journey from initial research to final purchase decisions, documenting what they're looking for at each stage. With this intimate knowledge of your customers, craft marketing messages that speak directly to their passions and address their pain points. Incrementally solving their issues will help you cultivate loyal, raving fans. Creating high-value content offers. Author Nora Hayden sold only 2,000 copies of her book, Astrological Love, after its release in 1982. A New York publisher read the book, bought the rights, and sold two million copies of the same book. How? He simply changed the title to How to Satisfy a Woman Every Time and Have Her Beg for More. He promised value and he delivered. To attract and nurture cold traffic into hot buyers, use value-based marketing. Provide massive value without asking your prospects for a sale. Offer a free high-value content offer or HVCO like a report, ebook, or video that solves their burning problem. This bait hooks attention and builds goodwill by demonstrating your expertise. Ensure your HVCO delivers on its high-value promise with stellar content. Prospects will assume your paid offers are even better. An HVCO moves your prospects up the purchasing pyramid by addressing their deepest desires and fears. Its number one ingredient is an irresistible headline. Use headlines like 10 things no home builder would dare tell you before taking a deposit. Structure your headlines like gossip magazines that use intrigue, vivid details and numbers to sell millions of copies. Every point within the HVCO should relate to a burning problem you can solve. Keep the report simple at five or six pages. Identify exactly what your dream buyer wants to know, then make your HVCO the obvious choice to learn from. 
map their emotional journey to uncover the exact words they use, major pain points, and communication preferences. Address their fears and frustrations directly while guiding them gently toward your solution. This deep understanding allows you to speak right into your buyer's mindsets. Once you start attracting traffic to your business, you'll need to build an even deeper connection with them. Effective contact collection. Are you ready to make your first transaction? It's a free exchange with your prospect, but it'll show you just how much progress you've made. The next step after creating high value content is convincing prospects to exchange their contact info for your free offer. This transactional opt-in page should grab attention with an irresistible headline promising an immediate solution to their burning problems. Restate the specifics of the offer in a compelling subheading. Use words that intensify interest through teasers rather than overt benefits. Show an image of the content on the opt-in page. It could be a report, cheat sheet or video. Let them see it. Finally, tell prospects where to enter just their name and email to access the free content. Although your offer is free, treat it as paid content worth money. The opt-in page headlines should shock sleepy web surfers awake by speaking directly to their needs at a fever pitch. The curiosity sparking bullets should tempt and tantalize to unbearable levels before satisfying your prospect's interest for free. Once they opt in, your prospects will be able to access the high value content before being redirected to a thank you page. This page will become a landing page for your special offer that appears after they're wowed by your freebie. This simple but strategic opt-in process turns cold traffic into hot leads by exchanging value rather than dollars. The small commitment of your prospects to share their details nurtures them into loyal buyers down the funnel through further email automation. So compel visitors to raise their hands for your irresistible free offer using your opt-in page by using electric headlines, fascinating bullets and proof of value. Applying the Godfather Strategy Enso Homes promised to build houses for its clients in 30 weeks. If it failed, it would refund its clients $5,000 in cash. That promise earned them $7 million in its first eight months in business. What it had done was apply the Godfather Strategy. It made its clients an offer they couldn't resist. The idea is simple. Sell what people want to buy. If your current products don't align with market demand, pivot. Write your sales message first detailing extreme benefits, then build products that deliver just that. Create a details sheet listing all the features, then convert those into corresponding customer benefits. Next, craft an outrageously generous offer outlining what you're selling, the low price, who will act, and how to buy. Though bold, ensure your business can realistically deliver. Irresistible offers have forensic details and specifics, not general claims. An effective Godfather offer must have a logical rationale for the deal with a value that trumps the price. If the offer is expensive, offer flexible payment plans that make it lighter on your client's finances. Try free premiums that align with your business and a strong guarantee that reverses risk and places it on you. Make your guarantee measurable and memorable too. Put the guarantee front and center across your marketing assets. Consider creating urgency by making your product scarce. For example, keep an offer open for only five days or a limited number of people. Following these steps will result in an irresistible offer tailored to exactly what your dream buyers want most. Attracting leads through masterful traffic generation. Can you spend $499 to acquire a single client and still make a profit? Sure you can, if you sell for a price above what that client cost you. To scale your business, you first need to calculate your unit economics. Or, in other words, how much you pay for every action one individual prospect takes. You also need to know how much every lead you generate costs you and how much you'll be spending for the length of time they remain your client. With that knowledge, it's easy to understand precisely how much revenue each customer really generates. To mitigate risk, you should diversify your traffic sources. Start with one channel like SEO or Facebook ads. 
Once that converts profitably, stack further channels on top. Maintain at least 50% ROI in each channel before adding the next. This structures a resilient pipeline, protecting you from changes in any one platform. Your marketing campaigns should match the mood of your audience. The right keywords will deliver hot traffic via Google Ads and SEO. Broad awareness ads better suit cold audiences on Facebook and YouTube. Your ad headlines should intrigue emotions like curiosity, fear and vanity that sell the click rather than make overt sales pitches. Structure your Facebook ads like magazine covers and news articles since these formats have high engagement. For each of your channels, religiously track earnings per click and sales volume generated. If you're not making more than you spend, rework your messaging to align with your dream buyer's desires. Continually split test elements like headlines and ad copy. Optimization is the key to cost-effectively scaling up your customer base. But how much should you spend on ads? Generally speaking, as much as you can afford, doing it right will only lead to more sales. Applying the magic lantern technique. Imagine you're a PR expert trying to help a prospect get the attention of influencers. So you create a video telling your prospect what influencers hate. Following what you've already learned about creating headlines, name it something like the 11 things never to say to an influencer. Then follow up with an exclusive press release template. And finally, provide a case study revealing your PR secrets. These progressive steps that provide value and guide your prospects toward their goals are a good example of the magic lantern technique. You might choose to offer them two to three educational videos, ebooks, or anything of value that moves them closer to their desired outcome. Educate prospects on your expertise without any sales pitch, and then embed a call to action at the end, inviting them to book a strategy session with you. Each step in their customer journey lowers skepticism while increasing your authority and trust. Ensure an 80-20 ratio of pure value versus the soft sell. Hint that more is coming to maintain intrigue. Let them digest each video for a day or two before sending the next. Once prospects complete the sequence, they already feel a connection with you for selflessly providing such useful advice. Their questions about credibility and capability dissolve away. Sales calls become far easier when they already view you as a trusted partner rather than a suspicious stranger. The Magic Lantern technique works by demonstrating your expertise through education rather than promotion. You build an authentic relationship by solving your buyer's burning problems for free. In providing massive value upfront, your prospects lower their guard and open their minds to your suggestions when you finally make your pitch. This technique converts both cold traffic as well as existing email lists into hot buyer leads. Congratulations, you're just one step closer to making a sale. Consultative Selling Insights How would you feel if your doctor prescribed medication without first asking you how you felt? It's the same principle when you schedule a call. Resist the temptation to sell outright. Start by diagnosing your prospect's needs, just like a doctor assessing symptoms before prescribing treatment. Make sure you offer the right solution to avoid future problems. Ask questions to reveal their motivation for booking the call and the ultimate desired outcome. Dig deep into their why with open-ended questions about what they hope life looks like after working with you. Get them to vividly describe their goals. Then have them detail their frustrations with current failed efforts. Guide them to admit they need your proven system and expertise to succeed. With your prospect's actual needs illuminated, showcase how you can help by delivering immediate value on the call. For example, solve a piece of their problem by demonstrating your process. This builds immense goodwill and trust while leaving them hungry for your full solution. Next, ask if your support seems like a fit and if they'd like to hear the specifics. Tailor your core pitch directly to the issues they face using their terminology. Focus on end benefits rather than technical details. After summarizing your offer, check if your prospect is ready to get started. Confidently state your pricing with conviction and explain available packages. 
urge quick decisions by highlighting limited time bonuses for fast action. Once you've verbally closed the sale, shut up and allow your client to break the silence. Have payment details handy to finalise once they commit. This consultative approach makes closing natural by first building rapport and proof. The sale happens once your client acknowledges to themselves that your solution perfectly solves their struggles. At this point, you've built a solid platform to take your business to the next level. Turning emails into powerful conversion tools. Barack Obama's successful re-election campaign in 2012 relied heavily on email, with some of them using casual headlines like, Hey! or Join me for dinner. Email outperforms every marketing channel for client retention and revenue. Build your list from day one. The best part about email is that you own it. You're not renting external platforms. To succeed with email, you need to work hard to get them delivered and opened. There are services like MailChimp, ActiveCampaign and countless others, but choose an email service that matches your volume and budget. Improve sender reputation with engagement metrics like opens, clicks and spam reporting. Send valuable content, not just promotions. Warm new IP addresses by starting with low email volume. Plain text emails get more opens than flashy HTML. Vary sender names to seem less commercial. Grab attention with subject lines resembling personal emails. Short, lowercase and sometimes lacking punctuation. Intriguing questions and curiosity-sparking story hooks also work. Ensure subject lines and preview text compel opening without revealing everything. Speak conversationally as you would with a friend. Short sentences, small paragraphs, with everything easily readable. Entertain and excite readers while guiding them firmly from a compelling opening to a clear call to action. Never, ever be boring and specify vivid details. Test your email best practices against your audience and refine them based on open rates, click-throughs and sales. As your email content matches the mood and exact desires of your subscribers, you'll form an authentic connection surfacing their deepest pains and hopes. This understanding will allow you to scale up your customer base exponentially.